Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more dogs. Yeah, boy, we are back after last episode's very successful episode. We managed to do it, zero deaths, which is it amazing it's amazing for us to do that we achieved it we did it i'm so proud of myself so we are back and i managed to get a tiny little bit done since last episode and that tiny bit being we have another pygmy archie and i've also evolved him to his prime it only took like four treats this time but yeah we managed to tame him um He's actually at level 995. When we tamed him, I think he was a 300 or a 400. Uh, but yeah, I don't think the levels matter until it gets to a prime. But we got him. Um, I did die once trying to get him, but we weren't recording, so it doesn't count to our death total. But look at his little blue feet. He's really cute. So hopefully we can evolve him into a prime today because I really, I really want to fight a prime wild creature. And I actually flew out and I found a Prime Dodic. So, a lot of you did comment and say the Primes we should be fighting are um, Do Prime Dodics, Prime Bears, I think it was, and there was something else, a Raptor maybe. Pretty much anything that doesn't shoot missiles or summons shit in the air. So, uh, yeah, I went ahead, punched the Dodic a few times. Uh, I did, like, a sacrifice of myself, and yet it just swings its tail. Nothing spawned around, so... If we get this dude to evolve, summon its minions, get them to attack, we should have no problem. Should have no problem. <laughs> We're going to see what happens. So, uh, yeah, that, that's all I've got planned today. We're going to see what kind of happens and, and whatnot. Ugh. I'm a little worried because we might lose another freaking RG. But honestly, like, I'm not too bothered because he was actually very easy to get. After all, like, our last one we got and stuff. So we'll just see how it goes. So before we do start the usual stuff, if you enjoy the video, make sure you're whacking a like on the video. Apparently only people with big smarts, big brains can like the video. So we'll see how many of you big smart people there are there. <laughs> make sure you're subscribing as well. Uh, you're following the social medias and all that good stuff. And then question of the day, we have from Nab. So it was their birthday. Happy birthday them a couple days ago. So if you had one wish, what would you wish for? But you can't wish for infinite wishes or more wishes well i mean the easiest one would just be you know infinite money for myself that money un unfortunately money fixes every problem and that you would have to wish that like you could use your infinite money to you know feed the rest of the world feed yourself make yourself happy make your family happy it's just the only wish you could go for honestly if you wish for infinite money for everyone I don't think it would work. I think that would start a war. But for yourself, you might be a bit better off. You probably won't tell people you have all this money. I don't know. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. So let me know down below what your one wish would be. So yeah, just no infinite wishes or more wishes. Interesting question. Very interesting question. All right, let's just crack on. Let's just jump into... Oh, I did build a fridge, by the way. We did build a fridge finally. So we do have a couple treats and some kibbles in there and stuff. So, what we need to do first, then, we need to evolve uh, Mr. RG over here. And we do that by putting 25 of any meat inside of him. And we should have a bunch of meat. We do. Uh, which ones do we want to use? I mean, we've got a bunch of this one. I'm going to keep the do meat because I kind of like that. So, we have uh, 19. We need 28. 21, 22, 23... Oh, 25. Yeah, okay, I lost count then. <laughs> Good job, Max. I can count, I swear. So let's see. I hope this works first time. I don't know um, if there's a chance for this to fail, but we're about to find out. And if it does, we're going to have to go and kill some stuff. Do you fail at all? No, sweet. Awesome stuff. Right, we have a prime freaking RG. Right, I'm just going to chuck you out here because you're actually big. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep you in your ball. I I am sure, I am sure we had an RG saddle. I thought we did. When I was editing my video the other day, I'm, I'm sure I saw that. Did we have a griffin one? We also had an apex griffin saddle. Damn, we could have used that. I mean, we might still need that when we get our griffins, when we need our griffins. All right, awesome stuff. Um... Okay, I'm just thinking, do we need anything else to do this fight? Maybe our Dodic Pygmy? We just use him for that boosted defense, but I, 
Mm, you know what? We'll take it anyway, just in case. We'll take him just in case. Um, do we want, like, the Wyvern back up? Hmm. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll just bring the Wyvern and the, and the Manticore. I'm not sure why we might need them, but you never know, right? Okay. Let's go. Nice. Um, jump. Okay, perfect. Let's go and fight our first prime creature. We should probably level the RG up a little bit. Do we, should we, do we need to do that? Maybe? Okay, so we're going to throw you out. We'll just kind of have a look in a minute. So it's level 1,314, which is amazing. And then we can throw you out, Mr. Dodic. You're going to ride on our shoulder. You're going to give us a bit of defense. Uh, awesome stuff. I'm going to have this out ready. Okay. Here we go, boys. So obviously you're not imprinted. You can't be imprinted. Okay. So let's just be very careful as we fly over to here. The Dodic is in the desert-ish area. There was a manticore knocking about around him. So we will be just a little bit careful. Okay. I'm just going to make sure we can see everything going on. We're just going to go and do this. So uh, sea attack, right, is our minions. Perfect. Just testing that out. Okay. So, right. We have to really care. If there's a nest here... Like, normally when there's wyverns, there's a nest. If there's a nest around and we go over it, creatures will aggro onto us. I believe the dodic was just on the corner up here. I'm just going to keep an eye out. We can quickly jump off him, pop him in a pokeball, switch out for, like, our wyvern, and we can run away if we need to. Okay, so there is a manticore. I'm pretty certain the dodic is down there. And I'm not liking that this dude's knocking about. I'm sh it's either that corner or this corner. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, there he is. Right. There's the Dodic we want. Yep. There you can see. I think there's my death body there where I tested him out. Okay. So we do have an Apex Manticore there. I'm not about to fight that with my Manticore because Manticores are really hard to fight in the air. Oh, titties. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? This might be a terrible idea. If them two manticores weren't here, it'd be fine. But, yeah, they're just going to knock about, ain't they? They're just going to constantly be there. So, this dude's a ice manticore prime wild. We do not stand a chance against that. Hmm. <sighs> We could go and find another Prime Wild, but this is the only dude I know where he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please go away. Please go away. I, I don't like this. I'm trying to do another zero death, so we've got to be big smarts. Like, you could fly anywhere in the world. And this is where you two choose to be? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm debating because I really want to fight this dude. I really want to get this Prime Wild kill. Maybe we should... Oh, there's also a Prime Mantis. Okay, we don't want to fight Prime Mantis. Apparently, they're like the scorpion and they will shoot things in the sky and hit us, so we don't want to do that. All right, what I'm going to do then, I say we we find some other creature. I don't think this is going to be smart. All right, this is why we've brought the Wyvern. So you're going to go in your Pokeball. We're going to get you out. What did you drop? Oh, just some meats. Okay, we're going to get Speedy Boy. And we're oh God. I love the speed, man. I love the speed. Right, we're going to knock about. We're going to see if we can find another Dodic. Um, I'll just test. I'll just test the creature. If I find another Prime Wild, we'll give it a quick test. See what he's about. If he doesn't shoot stuff into the sky, we're probably good. But remember, don't stop flying. And then we won't die. <laughs> and this is why we have the Wyvern, because for some reason... This Manticore has aggroed to me. Not even sure why. I was nowhere near whatever the titties. I'm guessing there was a nest somewhere. But that's like the fastest creature and we're able to get away from him pretty quick. But that's why we use the Wyvern. That's why we never stop flying. And this dude will chase us probably across the whole map. I've had him out of render distance and they still keep coming. Yeah, okay. We're just going just gonna to keep going. You should de-aggro, but yeah, like, this is why. This is why you got to keep being big smarts and 
keep looking around. Okay, we are back. So, we did actually come to Viking Bay. Uh, the sun is in my eyes again. There is a Dodic over here, a 413. Um, there was a Wyvern knocking about. I think it's him over there. But, apart from that, we look pretty good. I've had a quick, like, look around. I killed a couple of Apex Dillos. But, um, I guess we just give this a shot. Let's just summon these. And then if we look at him, get them to attack it. Let's see. So they only do 200 damage. But, I mean, they're doing, they're doing bits. They're doing bits. Okay, so they die pretty much straight away. I'm not sure how quickly this dude heals. But, like, we are safe up here. I'm just keeping an eye on... Um, what are these? Okay, they're just life strays. I'm just keeping an eye on the sky. When can I summon some more? But, I mean, look. They're all dead. They took, what, 10%? 12% of his health? So we just need to summon in some more when we can. His health's not regening too fast. Can we summon some more RGs? But yeah, this is... Here we go. That's, this is how you do it. Okay, get him, boys. This is how you do it. So I'm guessing that dude has increased health, obviously. Wow, he just one-shot it them all. Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I thought, but I do not dare use the Manticore for this. We could probably use the X attack, honestly, from up here, but I don't want to get any closer to it. Okay, as long as that RG just kind of keeps... Oh, it's despawned. Okay. Right, so he's at 40.2 health. Is it going to go up before I can summon these bad boys in? Because there is definitely a big cooldown. Uh, oh, yeah, we do have reduced defense. Oh, his health's going up. 42,000. Okay. Dudes, get him. Come on, his health is nearly full again. Okay, we could do this. It could take a very, very long time. I am very tempted to use the manticore here with the X attack. Because the, they are doing work. I just feel like this could take way too long. Hmm. I mean, patience is key, right? We've got him down to 38. So we're only really taking 2,000 at a time. Because now he's going to regen. Hmm. Patience is definitely key. But I don't have patience. That is not something I have. Okay, so he's at 38. Okay, there he is again. Boom, get him, boys. So he went back up to 40,000. Hmm. Oh, they just they just run it. They bunch up. Stop bunching up. Oh, we have an issue. Oh, we have an issue. Oh, god damn it. A random void wyvern just came out of nowhere. Um, right. I'm going to have to kill that dude. He just... I don't even know where he came from. So the Dodix health's going to go all the way back up. I'm sure it nearly already is. Uh, right, I'm going to use Manticore. Which one are you? Number five. I should be able to kill. Um, where's he gone? Where's that... Are you freaking kidding me? Where's that Void Wyvern just gone? What? Are you having me on? Ugh, bro. All right, I'm just going to see. Okay. Did I hit him? No. I'm just going to test this. Okay. I mean, that that might be better, honestly. This is better. This is better than the freaking RG, bro. Oh, rats down. Oh, rats down. Okay, can we just land up here? This is way better. Okay. Uh, we tested the RG. This dude is insane. His stamina kind of sucks, so we definitely need to pop some more in of that. He's nearly dead already. That X attack is insane. Like, the radius and stuff. Right, where are you, bro? Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Some more of that. You want some more of that, sir? Oh, we only need, like, one more. Oh, he's got 300 health. The fire might kill him. The fire killed him. We got it. Okay. He's dropped his bag. Am I good? Nothing's going to eat my butt right now. Hey, we got a first prime wild kill. We're going to take all of that stuff. Oh, oh, we're heavy. Oh, we're so heavy. Oh, it's all the metal. You know what? Don't need the metal right now. That is fine. I can come back for that another time. So we got a freaking tech bow. We got a, an ascendant shotgun. We got a miner's helmet. 
We've got some flak leggings and some meat, and that's kind of terrible. <laughs> that's all we got? Got a prime kibble. Huh. I was expecting more goodies. You didn't even get a level up from killing him. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm confident that we could fight another prime wild creature. So, let me switch out for my wyvern. We'll go searching for another ground-based creature. If I need to, I will test it out. Do a little suicide punch and run away. Okay. Oh, oh that, that wyvern. Yep, yeah, I need to fluent you. My bad. Sorry, sir. Are you going to be following me? Nope. Good. That's all right. We have found another dodic. This one's level 1,250. Um, I don't know if I want to find another dodic because they seem pretty terrible, honestly. Uh, it's not in the greatest area. Like, if I need to land for Stam, I guess I can pop up here. Uh, I mean, we could go for another Dodic. I ain't opposed. Alright, well, we're here now. Let's let's freaking do Dodic number two. So, screw the RG. Not worth it. Definitely our Manticore. Alright, you're going to land, Wyvern? All of this spell. I'm not even pressing anything now. I pressed space a minute ago. Come on. Pick where you want to land. Good job of not being chased by anything. There we go. Good job, sir. <laughs> so proud of you. Okay, so going boom. And we're going to do number four, which is you. We're going to get this back out in case something bad happens. Okay. Um, right. Don't exact you. Just there. Can we... No, okay. We can only X attack in the sky. First hit missed. I just don't want to get too close to it. Oh, we take like hardly any damage onto you. Alright, and now we're just gonna land here to get some stam. And you're gonna stay down there, sir, right? Well some stuff. Well, yeah, we took like no damage. Definitely looked how we're fighting a low level one first. Cause this dude is not hurt that much. Boom. Okay, you know what? Direct hits are alright. Direct hits are... Oh, God, there's a freaking... Oh, God, please don't come down here. I am out of stam. Bugger off. There's a prime wild dodo wyvern rex, dude. Yeah, fly away, sir. That's what I thought. So you move. You move. Oh, God. Really hard to, like, angle this, because obviously the dodic's moving all the time. There we go. Also kill a dumb off, Don. My bad, sir. More hits on him. Okay. I think we've got this. I would like to find some that doesn't have crazy defense. Oh god, there's another one. We are gonna be, we're gonna struggle if we have to outrun one of them. Alright, should be last attack on him, maybe. Go! Boom! Got him! Alright. Oh, there's also a Dodic Pygmy there. Bro, if we'd have hit that, King Kong would have been here. That was lucky, you know. And let's see, do they spawn after you kill a wild, maybe? I just didn't notice. Okay, so I'm going to take all of this, but I don't want uh, the metal. We've also just got a pygmy pteranodon. Use this artifact to gain your, gain your evolved dino hole. What? That's awesome. We also just got a 20% melee increase. Definitely better than freaking crafting speed. So we just got a Tapara Tech Saddle. Uh, you know what, actually, I want to be in the air. I don't like being on the ground. Actually, this this would be safe. This would be safe, right? Maybe. Okay, let me have a quick look again. So yeah, we've got a Tranodon. Uh, we've got a couple of guns. Uh, Tapahara Tech Saddle. And a Chibi Basilisk. And we got 31 levels. Why did we not get any levels from the first dude? I swear that first dude was just full-on poopy, man. Right, I'm going to give you a bunch of stamp. And some health. Stam is definitely going to be key for that attack. All right, what we're going to do then, <laughs> we're going to find one more. Actually, I'm going to go home first and drop this stuff off. Uh, and then we're going to find one more Prime Wild. I'm going to see if I can find some of this not a Dodic, because we've fought two of them now. 
Okay, let's try and avoid all of these dragons. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, I'm going right down. That is like the Titan boss, right? Okay, we want to stay away from him because he's probably going to slow us down. Okay, we're back. Um, I've just witnessed... I think he's gone now. Whoever this person was online, I've just had to swap out my dinos and hide some stuff away so they don't die. That Mega Rex... There's also like four Mega Rexes down there. That Mega Rex up there just destroyed this person's base. I just flown past and like I see was like foundations being ripped up and stuff. So, uh, oh, there's a, the person's here. I can't actually see them. Uh, I feel like we need to save their stuff. Uh, so Mr. Odin here. Uh, yeah, they've just been destroyed. These bags last an hour. Bro, like the, uh, what's this called? The greenhouse is gone. I don't know if they had loads of creatures here. Um, but yeah, I just saw foundations going up in the air. So, that bad boy. I didn't see him attack. He was just kind of walking. So I'm guessing the Mega Rec has a, a stump or something like that. So, I am going to make a storage unit. And I've got to pop all of their stuff in there. Because their advanced mini grill got broke. Smithy with all of their stuff in. Uh, we're going to be a good Samaritan here without getting killed by that Mega Rex. So I need to craft up some some kind of storage that's going to hold it all. I guess we can only stick with wood. Uh, I'm not sure how close I can actually build. Okay, I'm, I'm really scared here because I swear that Mega Rex comes and eats my butt. I won't be up here. I'll be coming for that person. So we go to storage. What do I need for this? Some ender page. Yeah, I definitely don't have that. So we just need some fiber. Okay, so we're just going to build them storage things up. Um, so yeah, someone built way out in the water. That was probably a big smart idea. This poor person here losing all their stuff. They're going to log on and it's all going to be gone. Where can I place these? Um, all right, perfect. Now I've got to somehow pick all this stuff up and carry it all in there. Because I bet this is going to be really heavy, ain't it? Smithy, like look at all this stuff they had. Should I just get like the important stuff? Like the kibbles? Uh, let's try not to mix it up with my kibbles. The kibbles, uh, the rest of that stuff they could probably get themselves. Nothing in there. Crafting station, they have a lot. They have a lot in there. Uh, maybe like these trophies, eyes. All right, I'm going to clear up this person's base for them because I'm a nice person like that. And uh, I will bring you back once we, I guess, uh, once we find another easy to kill prime wild because it's not the highlands a oh whole boy is not the highlands oh we have found an apex uh, an apex raptor prime wild not too far from where i've just cleared that dude's base up which we managed to get most of his stuff we saved a bunch of his creatures there was a, a chest that had like 20 cryopodded griffins and wyverns so you know we've done a good deed today which means we get a to kill the raptor right like easy um right so i've actually not tested one of these dudes out yet so um we could we could test him out and do a strategic death or we could just go straight away and try and fight him have zero deaths but that might lead to a death we're going to have to do a strategic death, ain't we? Can one make a sleeping bag? I can. All right. So what I'm going to do... Uh, we're safe here, right? None of you would like mega freaking sheep. Okay. What I'm going to do... I'm going to place the sleeping bag here. I'm going to op off the wyvern. So I should be able to get close to the raptor. If he spawns stuff or shoots balls, we will know about it, like, straight away, pretty much. So if you could get into here... If you also could get into a pokeball nice hey hey get into a pokeball sir listen to me right so we're gonna place these down okay uh, we're also gonna take our armor off so it all doesn't break could be big smarts today man awesome stuff okay let's go see then what this raptor is all about so if we get close to him and he shoots a fireball at us we know we probably shouldn't fight it if he spawns little raptors that might be right, honestly. As long as the raptors don't fly, we should be good. Uh, okay. Because I'm going to guess the RGs won't stand. Oh, God, he went really far away. 
Uh, it's got 118,000 health. All right, let's see what he does. Actually, can I slow him down? Can I just shoot one of these at you, sir? Hey, you. Okay, slowing down, slowing down. Okay, so he does little explosions. Okay. It looks like he does tiny explosions, which means just not getting overly too close to him, which we wouldn't with the Manticore anyway, right? Okay. Are we ready for this? Because I'm not. I really want to go and kill this Wyvern, because you're going to be a bummer, ain't you? Hey, sir. Let's go. You want to go? You want to go? Oh, let's get a stem. Let's get a stem. Bit him on fire. Okay. Hey, I ain't dumb you yet. Die! Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid head. Oh, his bag's in the air. What did he have in there? Uh, some doom meat. Okay, so I forget stamina's an issue for us, ain't it? We'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? I can fly away. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. We've got this. We've got this. Okay, really hard to actually hit you from here. But he's not like shooting fireballs at me face. He's just doing raptor stuff. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easier. This is gonna be easy. I'm liking that we ain't got no def Okay, just don't get too close to him. Fly up. And I'm so glad we put more, um... oh yeah, right up here. So glad we put all that stamina into us. Oh, this is the shit right here. All right, and now we can land, get some stamina. Oh, oh, no, 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 he's coming, he's coming. Okay. He's like nearly dead already. I can land up here though, right? Okay, just get some stem up here until he starts sprinting. Okay. See, this is what happens when we be big smarts. We get shit done. Good job, that was a terrible shot, sir. Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Oh hell yeah. Can't see his health, but we're doing damage. He's like, stuck. we got him! Prime Raptor head. Okay, let's see what goodies we get from him then. Okay, I can already see some good stuff. Uh, we are already really heavy for some reason. Sir, can you... Oh, actually, no, don't do the kibble because you'll probably eat it. Um, the Raptor head. It was so heavy. All right, let's just have a quick look at what we got then. So we got a... Uh, Apex Dodo Saddle. <laughs> I don't know why I got excited about that. Uh, a Dox Tech Rifle V2 that we'll take. Uh, Megalodon Tech Saddle. Don't care too much about that. You know what? We'll take the Dodo Saddle. We're going to take the Dodo Saddle. I thought it was a Dodo Rex Saddle. It was a Dodo Saddle. Level-wise, another 32 levels. Stamp. Honestly, that, that attack is the shit. I'm not going to do melee. I'm going to do some health and a little bit of movement speed. Okay, there we are then. So that one strategic death, which we kind of had to do just to test the raptor out. Nice. I think I got told we can fight uh, apex bears as well. Wild bears, but I've actually only ever seen the one on this server. All right, what we're going to do then, you, my friend, are going to go in a pokeball. I need to keep this head, but it is very heavy. All right, good for job. Right, we're going to go home now, so I'm going to pop you away. Uh, Pygmy, you can be popped away. Um, you know what? We could potentially die and go back home. Nah, we'll, we'll just fly it. We'll fly it. All right, I'm going to meet you back at home. We'll have a quick look at that Trinodon Pygmy and then call it a very successful episode. And we have returned home. So I am going to whack uh, these random bits and bobs into here. Alf head can go into there, pop the kibble away. I'm pretty certain we stole some of that person's kibble. I think it got mixed in with ours, but uh, I definitely split it. <laughs> that was my reward from helping them. Okay, so we do have this Tranodon pygmy, which I don't know what it does. So if we just place that. Hey, you get a little Tranodon pygmy. Right, what boosts or stats do you give us, if anything? 25% uh, total gravity? What? Uh, reduce gravity and increase torpor. Whoa! We're, we're, we're like on the moon! Why would I need that? 
<laughs> Why is that an ability? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Does that happen like when we're riding stuff? Hang on. Hang on a minute. Um, there we go. And yes, I'm aware there's some babies there. So if I jump... Um, Alright. I don't think the gravity affects the dodo. Um, okay, so pick me for the creatures then is plus 35 damage, but minus 15 defense. Ooh. I mean... I guess, like, if we're fighting a pygmy, like that raptor one, we don't need defense because we ain't getting hit. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, well, that's good to know. We've got a freaking pygmy as a gift from that. If I read the book, then, to see, like, what it evolves into, if it's worth it. So, pygmy, tranodon, yeah, provides damage increase. Place corruption stone in infantry to increase the perks. Oh, okay. So, do you do anything? Uh, place any docks evolve trees and eight of any docks prime raw meats within infantry for a chance to evolve. <sighs> Damn. Fries buff to a player who has it mounted on their shoulder, yielding. Uh, okay, so for the players, it's that. And then for the creatures, it's that. Evolves into a prime tapahara with equipable platform saddle. Better alternative to a quest. And then, yeah, if you do a Corruption Stone within its infantry, you further enhance the damage defense. All right. I mean, I'm probably never going to use that. But we got one. Definitely like my Dodic more. Boom. Let's just put all the creatures in here just in case the worst ever happens. All right. I nearly said another successful episode where we didn't die. The one death, though, was purely on purpose for a test. I'm going to count that as a sort of no death episode that's two in a row we are getting places that manticore was a definitely game changer we've got our rg again not really liking it but it would have done the job things are looking up so we killed a couple prime wild creatures i'm not sure what the next um like goal to aim for is so the, you lot that have been playing it will have to let me know what i should be aiming to do or to get next because uh, i'm a little unsure but uh yeah thank you very much for hanging out today another positive episode uh make sure you are whacking a like on the video make sure you're subscribing ringing the bell enabling notifications all that good stuff thank you very much for hanging out and i'll catch you in a bit see you later